UPMC says the coronavirus might not be as potent as it was at the beginning of the pandemic. Dr. Maria Simbra explains. UPMC's latest figures on coronavirus in our area, a positive rate of less than 4% on 30,000 UPMC tests, a positive rate of a fraction of a percent on the 8,000 people screened for the resuming of scheduled care and this observation of people currently testing positive. The total amount of the virus that the patient has is much less than in earlier stages of the pandemic. We've seen a continual decline in positive test results over the past weeks. Coronavirus is not as prevalent today compared to weeks ago. That's for our community and others. Recent reports from Northern Italy indicate that the SARS-CoV-2 virus, that is what causes COVID-19 illness and infection, may be changing, with some patterns suggesting that the potency has diminished. No one knows why this might be. Viral pandemics are complicated, they can wax and wane, and some of those features we control, some we don't control. I don't attribute the change solely or even predominantly to mutations, we simply don't know. The decline Dr. Yili refers to stem from comments from the head of one hospital in Milan, who claimed the virus is disappearing. The World Health Organization disagrees. Now that testing is more available, the tests are detecting milder cases and people with no symptoms. But the virus can still be severe in some people. But everything that's been done in our community has helped control the prevalence of COVID-19. Dr. Yeely says the number of people UPMC has had to put on a breathing machine has decreased since the end of April. UPMC has discharged more than 500 people who had coronavirus. About 100 patients remain hospitalized. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA News.